Listen, if you came up to me at any point in my life up until this past year and said, by the time you're 24 years old, just two years outside of college, you're going to be making well above six figures. I'd probably immediately break down and start laughing. <laughs> It's beautiful. Now, in full transparency, I'm actually currently 25 years old. My birthday was earlier in October, and uh, technically I'm about two and a half years outside of college, but let's not get weeded down by the details. It was all within that time frame. Now, the point of this video is in no way, shape, or form to brag about how much money I'm making, but rather it's to document and uh, hopefully motivate others about what it took to get me to this point. And I just wanna say that I was born with the opportunity to get myself to this point that some people may never have that opportunity. And for that, I'm eternally grateful for. But there are a lot of motivating factors behind pushing me to this point that I wanna talk about. So I've actually released videos on the past behind the motivation that it took to get to this point. And to make a long story short, basically my childhood, uh, you know, my parents got divorced, which put money in perspective for me. But then also my freshman year of high school, my father passed away. And so if I reflect back a lot of this time that I could have spent with my father building these memories and having these experiences I look back and he was working for most of them and he even worked on weekends sometimes and was just it was an awful grind to watch somebody work their entire life and in their deathbed still continue to try and work and uh, and not really accept the fact that they were passing away so that really shook me to my core and, and sort of developed me into the the mindset that I have today and so I don't want to get too dark and gloomy in this video here, but if you are more interested in that backstory, I highly recommend checking out the video that's being displayed right here. So the thing I want to touch upon about is I would say like 99% of people that click on videos like this expect some sort of get rich quick scheme, which isn't what you're going to get here. You know, I try to be as real and as authentic as possible. I don't sell any courses or anything like that. I think, uh, you know, the thing about me and a lot of these other successful people online it all boils down to one thing, and that one thing is mindset. You see, I was lucky enough to have this mindset, this mentality ingrained in me from such a young age, which allowed me to be laser focused on my goals. And I really started to try and achieve my goals, maybe my sophomore, junior year of college, when I started making these YouTube videos and documenting my financial journey, because at that point, I felt like I was ready to put my feet down put my head down and just start grinding away. That's the hardest part. Let's say you got the mindset down now. How can you contribute to that six figure number? Well, for me, it all boils down to different income sources. I personally have five to seven different income sources. I'll touch upon each one just a little bit here, but uh, if you ask around people my age and some of my friends even, most of them have one source of income. They work from nine to five and uh, that's it, right? And they're sort of capped out and they can't make money beyond that. That's where I differ from a lot of those people, right? I work pretty much constantly and it's something that I'm passionate about. I enjoy doing and mental health is huge. So if this is something that stresses you out, obviously you got to put the brakes on and uh, take a deep breath every now and then. But this is, this is sort of what I do and how I've been able to build it to this point. Now there's been three main income sources that really contributed the most towards this number. Number one, my corporate nine to five job, right? I'm working regular nine to five. I was brought up through the system. I was told you go to college, you get your degree. After you get your degree, you're going to go get a nine to five salary job. And after that, you can buy a house, you know, marry somebody, have kids, all these different things. And uh, that's, that's how I was brought up, right? But what I actually did was took my nine to five income and I fostered it to start my five to nine, right? I call it five to nine. I really work five to like, you know, whenever I go to bed. Uh, but with, with that, that's where YouTube kicked in. Now, throughout my life, I've tried various different side hustles. I uh, even as far as, you know, when I went to college, I tried to start a woodworking business, which makes absolutely no sense looking back on it because I'd never even cut a piece of wood in my entire life and I had no idea what I was doing. So I've always tried to think about different ways to make money and I've tried so many different things. I used to sell and flip iPhones that were broken. I'd fix them up, sell them on eBay and I made a decent chunk of change doing that. So I've always had that mind that's thinking, how can I turn this into a business, right? How can I make money off of this? And so that's been huge for me, but really it started clicking with this YouTube channel. And I knew that if I put in enough effort and I grinded away, like I was making five videos a week, I was putting in well over 40 hours while working a 95 job, trying to make this stuff work. And I knew that one day it would click and it started clicking and you know, we're still in the building process, but this has been so detrimental towards building that income. 
And so the next thing that I did after stemming from YouTube, right, was affiliate links. If you go to the description of these videos, you're going to find affiliate links to different stock programs, different brokerages. And uh, anytime that you sign up for them, I actually get a little bit of a kickback as well. So for Robinhood, for example, if you sign up for Robinhood, you're going to get a stock valued from five to, I believe, $250. And, uh, you know, that's your incentive to sign up. But then I also make a little bit of money off of it as well. So it's really a cool concept. And if you are able to you know, grow some sort of audience or a bigger following, you know, you can really see how that can uh, add up quite quickly. Some people will look at this and say, hey, you can easily do this because you have some sort of following. You can try and monetize it. And, you know, I built this to this point through literally blood, sweat, and tears. I don't know about blood, but sweat and tears, right? I worked so hard at this and I worked my butt off to be able to, you know, put this type of content out, put these videos out, get people interested enough in finance to be able to watch along. And so if I can get people interested in that topic, there are way cooler topics out there that people can talk about and build an audience and get some sort of following around. I literally tell everybody that has either, you know, come in uh, my life, right? Working on the duplex that I recently bought or any of this stuff, like these contractors, right? I tell them, you got to start a YouTube channel. You just got to start documenting, do how to videos, these different things. You will get a following. If you work hard enough at it and you put out the content, you will be found and you will be able to do it. What separates you from everybody else is your mindset and your determination and your grind. So I kind of touched upon it uh, before there. I have a duplex, right? I started investing in real estate. I think figuring out where to house your money after you start making decent money, how can you get your money to start working for you? For me, it's been through investing, which has been huge, whether it's dividend income or growth stocks. You know, the market has been roaring and doing extremely well for me. And then real estate investing now, right? That's a new thing for my portfolio. And I went into this rental property with the mindset knowing that the first year I'm going to have losses. I have to honor leases that are well below market value. I had to get a tenant out. I have a bunch of renovations to make. And so I went in with the mindset that I'd lose a little bit of money. But at the end of the day, a year from now, I'm really really going to be reaping the benefits from this decision. Now, figuring out where to put your money and where to house it is super important. I have tons of videos on different investing techniques and uh, you know, there's so many resources out there on how to, uh, to how to house your money to, to get it to start making more and working for you. And I highly recommend checking those out as well. So I apologize. I, I ran out of a lot of time when I was recording this video. I had to go to the property and uh, do some fixes there. I'll put a couple videos over here to show you guys what's been going on. Obviously a ton of work. I want to make sure I get this video out. So in the future, I'm going to be posting a video that's going to go really into detail, covering in depth on my income sources. I'll talk about exact numbers. I'm going to answer all the questions that you guys may have. So if you have any questions about my income sources, make sure you're leaving them in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see that video. But I think for the purpose of this video, uh, getting to that six figure number, right? What got me here? There's three main things that really did it. It all comes down to that mindset that I talked about at the beginning establishing more income streams it's the most important thing i think in you know 2021 and beyond one income stream isn't going to cut it in order to get you to the next level i think that having a business that can eventually take over your full-time position that has uncapped potential in terms of earning is huge and then the third thing is when you got money in the bank or you're trying to maximize your savings what can you do? How can you get your money to start working for you? If you can answer that question, you can start following along with some of those uh, practices and you're going to be able to build your wealth so much quicker. So that's what it all boils down to. And uh, if you guys have any questions along the way, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. But other than that, thank you for checking out this video and I hope you have a great day.